Greetings, hello, and welcome everyone to another episode of Cosmic Crit. My name is Tyler, and I play Nikithi, and I am overjoyed to be doing the intro this week so I can tell you all about PaizoCon 2019. I had a total blast at the con. It was my first time going, and I didn't know what to expect, but I'll tell you what I received was a four-day hangout with some of the nicest people in any community I've ever been a part of. I got to play Starfinder Beginner Box with some new fans, meet some old fans like Chupricata, and of course, I got to hear some pretty juicy new details about what is to come in both Starfinder and Pathfinder from the great folks at Paizo. Personally, I'm very excited about some of the news uh, in Alien Archive 3. Just, they teased some art, and it was, oh my gosh, the Tartigrade? They put a they put a little water bear in there? Except it's not a little water bear. It's like a massive CR creature that eats everything? I'm telling you, if you think Starfinder is weird now, if you think the APs are crazy, Starfinder is about to get crazier and weirder, which is fantastic. But I also got to play board games with some of the best Starfinder contributors and developers out there. It definitely felt like a one-of-a-kind weekend. And uh, honestly, I just can't wait for 2020 when I get to try and do it all again. Now, if I could, I would talk about PaizoCon for hours, but I really need to mention our next fan challenge, our June fan challenge, which will be the Fill Our Soundboard Challenge. For this challenge, we're going to have the fans help us create some sounds that we can use in the show. Now, the show has several moments that would be ideal to have some sound bites in that we currently just do not have. And we wanted to give fans the opportunity to be a part of those moments. Uh, and we have come up with a few moments that people can submit sound bites for. And they are the Tiny Demon Summon, Critical Hits, Critical Fails, the Phoenix's Respite's AI, you know, like a greeting or, you know, confirmation of, you know, an order from the captain, etc. A natural toot, a super hit, and finally, the all-powerful Cosmic Crit. You may submit to any of these categories or just some of them. Uh, each submission should be short. No sound bite should really be over 10 seconds. And as always, we are a family show, so no pronkin language or anything inappropriate, please. Examples of possible entries could be a sound like this for a critical hit. Warning, critical hit incoming. Warning, critical hit incoming. Or a sound like this for a tiny demon summon. I have arrived to kill Talara's enemies. Whatever you do decide to do, make sure all your submissions get emailed to cosmicrit at gmail.com. Please have all audio files as either MP3 or WAV. Also, make sure the file has nothing filled into the property boxes when you export your audio, as that has been known to cause issue with Sirenscape. If you have any questions, check out the challenge on our website, or you can ask any of the Cosmic Crit crew for clarification over in the fan challenge section of the Discord. Well, I think that'll do it for me in this intro. Thank you again for listening to our little podcast. It means the world to us. And if you have a moment, please try to rate us on whichever platform you are listening to because it honestly helps us out a prong load. And with that, let us jump right into episode 87, Brawly. Episode commencing in 3, 2, 1. Episode initiated. As Lanty girls are quite regrettable, heavy armor rifles are cocked. Aiming down scopes, they got you on lock. They'll crit your faces off. Oh, ooh, oh, ooh, oh. Greetings, all you ones who got away, and wait, welcome back to Katie Crit, a Starfinder Perry cast. Uh, we're talking all things Katy Perry today, and this is Patrick, your GM, lead Katie Cat. This is episode 87, and I can think of 87 reasons why you should be going off like a firework right now. Joining me are my five friends and your players who make me feel like I'm living out a teenage dream of playing board games in my garage. <laughs> to my right, louder than an Akata, he's going to make his drone roar. It's Tyler playing Nikithi with Itis. Uh, it's a beautiful night for some Starfinder, Patrick. To his right, did you ever feel like a plastic bag that could summon a tiny demon in the wind? It's Rebecca rocking Talara. Hello. Across the digital table, he kissed a bear and he liked it. The taste of its honey chapstick. It's Miles <laughs> with a win. Good evening, good morning, and good night. To his right. Because, baby, you're an operative. Make you go ow, ow, ow as you shoot him in the face. It's Jabert bringing bum puzzle. <laughs> That intro went on for so long. I was... <laughs> ow, ow, ow. And to my left, finally, 
boy, you dare do this, because the Vanguard is now coming at you like a dark horse. It's Drew running with Cam. Last week was all left shark. This week, <laughs> right shark, baby. I, le- I left left shark out, just hoping one of you would bring him up. Summon the, the left shark energy. Um, hey, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Thank you. Glad uh, to be here. It's it's summer in full swing just about now. And last week I asked you all about your summer fun activities, things that you guys do. But nobody said, well, maybe Tyler said, nobody said one of my favorite things to do in the summer, which is BBQ. Just having people over to your house or just hanging out uh, yourself in the backyard, grilling out. You know, what are you guys' favorite uh, barbecue foods? Uh, hold on. Let's be let's be real here. Barbecue is not burgers or hot dogs. It is barbecue. Oh so let's like yeah. say that up front. She's so got I a think point there. Really- <laughs> oh man, I I can't even see her from that mountaintop. She's <laughs> <laughs> look. She's right. There are rules to this. Uh, there are rules that I ignore. I don't care as long as their food. Good. What if What if you have mesquite hot dogs? Does that count? I was about I was about to say uh, if, if you it's, smoke it, your hot dogs, yeah, any yeah. food, any food, if it's a if it tastes different from putting it on a skillet versus in a barbecue, then it's barbecue. Oh, uh, it's oh a boy. grill. It's not a barbecue. Oh yeah, I need to I need to drag my grill out, scrub it down, get it ready for some some grill times. Uh, I've been using my cast iron in my oven, get my my meats how I like them. But uh, I just I love barbecuing so much. Or grilling, or whatever you call it, Rebecca. <laughs> cooking out. C- cooking outside, yeah. Can't really do it today. Jabert, it's like 25 <laughs> yeah. degrees and rain. Yeah. rain. <laughs> oh, oh, I know. No. It's like, up. it's been so cold this this whole May. And so, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to hopefully some grilling weather. But June, please yeah. grace us with 70 degree weather. Yeah, I, it, 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 for me, it really depends on like who I'm cooking for. If I'm cooking for Marina, it, it's going to be like, um, some steaks, some, some pork chops, that sort of thing. Um, if I have friends over, I mean, like, uh, you folks are getting brats. Ooh. You <laughs> yep. also can't go wrong with a good, just grilled burger. Like, just getting out there. Delicious. Mm-hmm. I, um, I just, I tend to like all of the, the, the outdoor cooked meats and confections. So, like I said before, I like the vegetables. I like making vegetable kebabs. And oh, I don't good. think you mentioned that. <laughs> No. Well, you know what my favorite uh, burnt meat is, is <laughs> player character death. I knew that was coming. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this, this, this whole set out <laughs> of, of uh, flesh being melted away on PCs, fur being singed, that kind of thing. Uh, let's get back into it. Let's let's talk to the audience, to ourselves about what happened last time on Cosmic Crit. The crew investigated the engine room of the Royal Venture, only to be cornered by two flying electrovores. Fortunately, tieflings have electricity resistance. Set upon by Aslanti zombies, the crew remembers an old hand-to-hand combat strategy. Stick and move. Stick and move. But things are looking dire. Zombies in one area, a death robot in another, a split party and dwindling SP. It's a GM's dream come true, as the crew's backs are truly to the wall. Luckily, we found a magical weapon. We have the power! Also, we need to get away from that murder machine and lock that door pronto. Miles rolls nothing but crit fails, breaks Wind's junk sensor twice, gets downed by electricity spitting monsters, and finally gets a break when he finds a magical trident, only to be greeted by a giant death bot. That's me! I'm the giant death bot. Uh, A bit of a cliffhanger there. You all run around the, the Royal Venture and in that yeah last act of desperation went into the only room you haven't been in so far that seems to have a locking mechanism on both sides of that door. But this uh, security robot with the handlebar mustache is probably going to make this fight uh, just a, a squeech bit harder. Miles, you forgot in your introduction that Wynn is also suffering from the weakened strength poison state. Did oh, you- oh, oh. I'm sorry. I Did didn't think list everything that happened. <laughs> <laughs> you think I would forget that too? No, I, I assumed you didn't. Uh, Drew Kaz also has, uh, at the very least, the wisdom poison state, the first one. Although that really just affects the uh, like your perception checks or you know will will skill rolls. So not, not as big a strength <laughs> for combat. Yeah. Wow. 
that's it. We are still in combat from the the cliffhanger in the last episode. Still in the same initiative turn order, and it's like turn five or six. <laughs> And we're at we're at <laughs> the top of, anymore. We're at the top of the turn order, which means it's time for Kaz. Drew, you've got this one in front of you. It's not looking great. It it has been the zombie set upon now for multiple rounds by Bumfuzzle. You, um, Itis is right behind you, and Talar is on the other side of the room, uh, standing in the doorway. Uh, what would you like to do, Drew? Uh, Kaz is going to take an entropic strike. Starting us out big. That is a 20 to hit. That is a hit. Uh, for five damage. And then he is going to take a guarded step sort of back into the right next to the to the central doorway to the hallway. Okay, this one, yeah, not looking great. And it does not get that uh, opportunity attack. We, we figured out these things are staggered. And that means second in the turn order is a bum fuzzle. Bum fuzzle, you're on top of the table, on top of the world, as it were, three feet up. That's in the tech lab. That's the best place to be. Uh, let's see here. I'm Don't going to. You. I look down and I find some uh, some technological scraps on the table, and I put together a. I just quickly quickly assemble a small like marching uh, soldier toy, and I wind it up and I put it on the table, and it walks towards it. Are you are you MacGyvering <laughs> the situation right now? <laughs> that, that's exactly what I'm doing. Is it going to be called McBumfuzzling? <laughs> <laughs> McFuzzling, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just, I couldn't get the door open, but I just, you know, McFuzzled that thing right open. All right, let's see. This dice uh, agrees with you. That'll be a 23 on the engineering check. Uh, yes, that is <laughs> a bully. And then, I, and then as the zombie is looking at it's this. It's looking at it. Yeah, it's looking right yeah. at the toy, like What's that? I make an attack. It's a 17 <laughs> against a flat-footed EAC. That's a hit. Yes. <laughs> and I'm gonna do seven points of fire damage to this thing. Uh, it has taken a number of hits, but it is not, <laughs> it's not able to soak up seven more from you. That blast goes right through its brain pan yeah. splattering goop on the back wall and it is dead Woo. nice nice guess, i'm sorry it is re-dead it's more dead than it was <laughs> Even undead. more dead than it previously was uh i'm really excited this is like my second kill of the uh of the whole season i feel, I feel a real sense of accomplishment here <laughs> right and accomplishment achieved it would be Nikithi's turn, but we've got a new combatant in the turn order, which is a, a very mean-looking robot staring down at our good friend Wynn. Oh, boy. Yeah, so you've run into the room and picked up what looks like, indeed, a magical trident, right, uh, this this last this last round, Miles? That is correct. And the robot is, like, beeping and booping, and as it sees you touch it, it says, Hand off the trident! I am the only one who knows how Master likes it handled! What? Oh, my. Uh, you heard exactly what it said. It tweaks its metallic handlebar mustache, and... Uh, you may make an attack of opportunity because it's going to shoot you, Miles. All right. Uh, yes, it's it's a, a, that is a 22, and I get a minus 2 to that, right? Minus 2 for the strength, but that's going to be a hit against KAC. All right. Uh, does this uh, try to do anything special when I hit it, or is it just a, a slash? <sighs> so you haven't had a, a good amount of time to figure out its, its oh. magical qualities, okay. but... It does, uh, I can tell you, D8 damage, so you can roll a D8, oh, um, nice. and it, it it does look like it has some abilities on a crit that, that happened. Cool. So what do you roll for damage? Uh, six. Okay, and that that is taking into account our, our weakened state, so that is, that is how much damage it is taking right now as you stab in. It brings up an arm, and it seems to have like an integrated gun Ooh. and the end of one of its four arms, and it's going to try and we'll try its best to shoot at you. Oh, but. no. Oh, yeah. 14 on the dice is going to do it, and it is coming at you with what looks like uh, a laser rifle weaponry. I can't get marshmallows. But minimum damage, so hmm. five points of fire damage. Okay. Ouch! 
Wind still up? Oh yeah. Oh, he's fine. Alrighty. Uh, and it's just gonna stand where it is. It's kind of on the uh, the aft side of this room that you've entered into. Uh, Nikithi is next in the turn order. Nikithi, you also have a zombie right in front of you. Yeah, that's going to mean a. Let's take a guarded step backwards. Mm-hmm. And uh, since Bumfuzzle took out the combatant that Idis was paying attention to, Idis is going to move past Kaz out the room and get into uh we're back in the hallway now and she's gonna get up behind this zombie and oh try to protect uh, its master her master yeah yeah and uh take a swipe claw oh, oh, oh i saw that 18 try to come out <laughs> natural toot to start out the night not gonna do it sorry That's not good. sorry tyler it is the zombies turn now uh, the only zombie left, and it's got a drone right in front of it, so it's gotta try and destroy that that uh, drone. That does look kind of like a living creature, but I've rolled a natural one. So. Yay! Yay! Don't don't worry about that. That's a pretty big failure on my part. Thanks, okay, Patrick. it's staggered, so that's all we can do. <laughs> Talara, we're back to you. You're on the um. The, the port side of this destroyed vessel and uh, you don't don't see any combatants where you are. What, what, would, uh, what would you like to do? Yeah, I'm going to come into the room and stand next to Bumfuzzle mm-hmm. and I believe I have a clear shot to the zombie. Wait. So once again, there is a uh, a table uh, in, in front of you. I believe you oh. have enough of movement to just move around it if you'd like. If you want to move on top, it'll be a little difficult terrain to jump over and oh i think i i think i can just get over it right or around it yep that's also fine are you, are you moving up to the door or? yeah i'll go up to the door and shoot from there okay that, go right ahead. you're in difficult terrain <laughs> i mean this room is a little a little destroyed it looks like it was pretty worse for wear from the crash but that's that's the same score that uh, nikithi slimed all right that's a 12 to hit that's probably not gonna hit against eac eac uh, that is a hit. Oh my gosh, and it's max damage with four. Oh my. <laughs> all right, all right, you guys, calm down. Um, doing a lot of max damage or close to it here already. Uh, that is a Talar turn win. We're on to you. On to you. Is it time for a one-on-one bear versus oh, robot fight that no. we've been waiting for the entire season? Well, well, well. <laughs> Win has just gotten this this magic trident that he is almost positive we'll, we'll turn him into a magical princess or something. He also realizes that he's he's taken quite a, a beating today uh, in his overconfidence. So he, I think right now, he's going to check in on his, on his teammates because they don't know about this robot. Hmm. And so he's going to uh, pop out of the room and try to lock the door behind him. Okay. Um, that will indeed... Um... Um, I'll say you can do it as part of this move action. Uh, At the very least, you can close the door behind you. Uh, Make me a computer's check. All right. It's fairly simple. (laughs) Oh, no. He he has every intention to fight this robot, but he wants his teammates. (laughs) Uh, That's 17. Uh, That'll do it. You're able to... It's a fairly simple... Uh, design for this uh, Islanti room to, you know, lock it in, lock it out, and the the door shuts behind you. Um, you have a standard action. What would you? Yes, like? and he. Uh, well, first he yells, "There's a giant death bot in there!" Oh, we get we get actual wind voice. <laughs> yeah, he's 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 a little perturbed, and then he still is, sees that zombie uh, that's still up and just growls to himself and and takes a swipe at it. Death swipe. Oh. That oh, is a natural okay. twenty. Why? Why you got to do me like this? <laughs> nice. Uh, I don't nice. want to hear it after how I rolled last week. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say you get you you've uh, burnt out all your bad rolls. It's, it can only be good rolls now. <laughs> Papa Bear's back. <laughs> uh, right. So go ahead and roll two d eight. Well, I guess I should say you can also take a card. Oh my gosh! Oh, uh, I read it. Too. <laughs> well, I already rolled, so I guess I. Yeah. Well, there's there's a there's cards that can happen if you would like, Miles. Yes, I would like to have a card. Mm, <laughs> Got to take the wind out of your sails with that. that I I don't don't even care. <laughs> don't even care. No, oh, that's great. Well, Patrick mentioned that it had some sort of additional effect on a crit, so yes, um, and I can stay just, in tune to hear that. I'm, I can describe that. I can describe what the card is 
and you can basically take one or the other. Okay. So this is piercing. This is a, a kinetic weapon. Ooh. Okay. All right. So it would be very, <laughs> this card would be very good if this was not an undead creature, but the kinetic card that I've drawn is called flurry fire. And the bonus effect is you can apply the effects of covering or herring fire to the target if you'd like. And it does have an extreme melee bonus, extreme blow, but it's bleed. So wow. it, it will affect the, <laughs> the zombie. So uh, you can take that or you can take double damage and mystery crit effects on the weapon. I want to try these mystery crit effects. Okay. Mm. The the two effects that happen is one, the, <laughs> the room just is full of light as the oh, no. the weapon just glows and it's kind of like emitting like a, a hum as it does. I just love that this is going to be happening while Wynn has no idea what this thing does. And I just would love to see the look on his face. <laughs> so there are indeed uh, not one, but two fusions on on this weapon, um, which rules wise, is it works like a tactical pike, but it is a trident indeed. Um, the first one is uh, maybe I think we've seen it is illuminating so it, it lights up the room and the second one I don't think will have an effect here is ominous level one and it kind of also creates a shadowy haze behind it and it gives off like a a dark uh, menacing dirge sound as it uh, strikes this zombie and it, it gains intimidation as a critical hit effect oh cool um, so not one that you have. I don't believe that, the, um, unfortunately, the zombie is going to be intimidated. But right. you've rolled a couple things. Um, but all this damage does go through um, a, a whopping two points <laughs> right, right now. But <laughs> because that is magical, it does full damage. And you got a, you got a natural 20 on the board, Miles. I Another know. one. Oh, we need to call somebody out. Uh, oh my goodness. Crits take so long when we've got uh, <laughs> several things to do. Uh, yes, from our Patreon, if you are a uh, Flanking Buddies um, tier or or above, uh, you can uh, send them in anything you'd like us to shout out on the podcast whenever we get a crit. Uh, this one is going out to our friend Jonathan, uh, who you might be hearing from uh, pretty soon. But th they say, big shout out to Fuzzle, the best Isoki, parentheses, guinea pig there ever was. Oh. An Isoki uh, guinea pig named Fuzzle, not Bum Fuzzle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Jonathan, and I guess thank you, Miles, for all the. <laughs> uh, let's continue this combat because I don't like I don't like how this is going. That is uh, that is turn one of this episode. Just this episode, uh, Kaz. We're back to you. All right. Is Wynn blocking the door? Or can I squeeze around him? Uh, you can move through your your teammates. All right. Then I'm going to come out of this southern door past Win, and then race west down the hall to get into flanking position with Idis. All right, moving through the doorway back into the engine room with with uh, Nikithi. Go ahead and I'm guessing it's Entropic Strike time. It is Entropic Strike time. Flanking. Do it. That uh, 1921 to hit. Uh, that is a hit. Four or five points of damage. <sighs> okay. All right. <laughs> and uh, it's still up bum fuzzle we're back to you hmm well i can't see anybody right now so i wouldn't be able to sort of mark that zombie as a target for my trick attack from here so um i think bum fuzzle's just wondering what all the commotion's about and walks out into the hallway and <laughs> sees a zombie and is like oh no and like moves back <laughs> there's more of them. <laughs> oh no there's another one Gah! i forgot about that one <laughs> i saw it like like 12 seconds ago, but I've forgotten. <laughs> All right. Shooting through some, some bear and drone legs. Yeah. I'm uh, just gonna, I'm just gonna go for a, go for a very precise shot with this thing. Right. <laughs> gotta, gotta blow on my fingers here. Uh, are you making a trick attack? Uh, no, no, no. So I, I wasn't able to see it at the beginning of my turn. So, mm. uh, the trick attack is sort of a full action. And so, yeah. Alrighty, go ahead. All right. Attack. Yep. Hey, that's a Ooh. that's a twenty-three, presumably minus four. Yeah, it's still a hit. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
so cool, boy. <laughs> oh, I was giving it full cover too, and yeah, <laughs> it was like it was like underneath Wind's legs, and then like through the uh, the tendrils coming back off of Idis's head, uh, threading the needle and hitting that. <laughs> or four points of fire damage boy oh boy okay another max damage great um, <laughs> surprise uh nikithi we are on to you yeah so nikithi nikithi hears winds shout growl shout growl. and yeah great, and he great said, band name. <laughs> yeah and he, I, he says back win we have been over this the death robot is just itis normal <laughs> itis i'm not talking about itis <laughs> <laughs> Confused by that, but uh, he okay. Uh, but the zombie is still first and foremost the threat, so he's going to continue to have Idis to focus on the zombie. Mm-hmm. She is flanking Kaz. Probably, sh- probably should actually try to shoot it with a fired weapon, but whatever. <laughs> uh, Fifteen to hit uh, against Casey is a hit. All right, well, five points of damage. Yeah, or or you're just like kind of eating yeah. uh, a bone part of the leg that <laughs> seems to not be phasing it one bit. Yeah, uh, it could if you rolled the higher damage. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping it to be a little bit better, but that's all right. Uh, it is the zombie's turn, and it's it's taking a lot of damage on on this round, this one round go go around. Before it was just fighting. Like Nikithi and a win, and it was doing okay. But uh, once the five of you team up, by your powers combined, I hate you all. We've got a Kaz, we've got an Itis. Uh, I mean, Kaz has done more damage, so I think it's going to turn around and try, try its best to take a chomp out of him. Just bludgeon. <laughs> 10 on the dice. That is going to be a hit against KAC. Are you factoring in my uh, entropic points? I no, I don't care about them. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, it's like that, plus one to AC when he's got one. It is still a hit though. Still, still a hit for eight points of bludgeoning damage. Ugh. Eight, Ugh. but you get more in <laughs> entropy points. You got that going. Oh, <laughs> uh, right, Talara, back to you. All right, it's laser pistol time. Just mm. one single shot. Uh, does it have cover from when right now? Yeah, it has a little bit of cover from where you're shooting from. You're okay. Shoot through your friend over over wind shoulder or under his armpit. One of the two options. Yeah, that's a thirteen uh, against EAC is a hit. Oh, good. Uh, and that's three damage. Okay, and you you're keep plugging shots into this thing, and it's absorbing them. Uh, it is hard to kill again. It's hard to read dead, as we've learned from the other one yeah. that took, like, a ton of damage. Uh, when, though, we're back to you, you are ten feet away with this spear, this trident that has reach. What would you like to do? Um, yeah, I mean, so, it, he was pretty happy with his turnout last time, so he's gonna... The trident glowed! He doesn't really understand it. He <laughs> likes that it glows. It amuses him. It was fun, so he's gonna try it again. It did seem to damage this thing. It did seem to hurt us. That is a 19 to hit. Uh, yes, that's a hit. <laughs> 16 on the dice. Well done. That's, um, oh, I gotta roll a d8. That's four damage. Four points of damage. Okay, doubling it from last turn. You stab into this thing, and once again, you can kind of see the undead flesh around where your poking holes just kind of melt away. It is going right through. Uh, that's the end of this turn. We're back to Kaz. Back to you, Drew. It's not looking so good. This one's taking a ton of damage, you can see, this turn. Uh, then I think Kaz is going to make a... Nope, never mind. He's going to take an entropic strike. Single attack? Single attack. All right. Playing safe. That is a 14 with flanking. You needed that flanking. Yes. <laughs> did every bit of it because that would have been a miss otherwise. <laughs> For a whopping four points of damage. Uh, it had four hit points left. Yes! Nice. Knock its block off. We're at a cut. I had a one-liner, but never mind. It wasn't even my kill. No, I want to hear it. I want to hear what it was. So bad. Zombie barbecue, Akaton style. Oh, call yeah. back to the barbecue yeah. conversation. <laughs> yeah. Zombie barbecue or just zombie grilling, Rebecca? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that was that no was one. So no one poured sauce on him. Well, yeah, Wins, yeah Bum, Bumfuzzle walks up and uh, picks up the body and said, "Put that in a bowl of water with some vegetables." You guys <laughs> do going? <laughs> no, don't eat it. So Whee! while his teammates are celebrating, Win's still a little worried about the robot that he just left in the other room. Oh, 
Right. <laughs> the, so the he's robot trying to... that only you have seen yeah. sure win. <laughs> right. Bumpus is just patting you on the side, just like it's all right, man. It's all right. Win. We no, win. He, he, he's explained that when he took the trident, that uh, a gigantic robot attacked him. He was able to, you know, get out of there. But um, he doesn't think that we should leave this robot, you know, left to its own literal devices. And when, while I agree with you, I how strong does that lock look? I'm wondering if we have a chance to, to take a few moments rest. No, it, it's okay. I'll, I'll take care of the big bad robot. Oh, no, please no, stop. No, please no, don't. no, please stop. 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 <laughs> don't do that. No, no. Are you going wait, to wait, wait, wait. Um, We're about to learn a very important lesson. Go on, bum puzzle. <laughs> no. Are we going to see a goblin no. versus robot one-on-one fight that we've been waiting for all season? <laughs> uh... I just want to peek. <laughs> Hold on. Before we go anywhere, is there anything else to learn about the, the weapon that Wynn has? Can I, like, do a mysticism check or detect magic on it? Uh, go right ahead. What, what do you want me to do? Mysticism. Uh, you you know it's magical. It's given off a magical glow. Can I assist with the mysticism? Yeah, you can roll your own, whatever you want to do. That's a nine. Uh, 13 for Cass. The key people um, also take a shot. Yes, please do, because you're you guys aren't sure. It's definitely ancient oh, fancy. Thought twenty. That's a fifteen. Is that any better? Uh, yeah, you you're pretty sure from what you've seen. It uh, you can maybe identify that illuminating fusion because it lit up the room when he uh, scored the crit, but. I'm not sure exactly what this is in Islanti runes. You might be able to read along the side of it. White fire. Um, and you believe that to be the name of the weapon. What exactly it is, what it does besides that, you are unsure. Lots of Aslanti kind of runes um, etched into the side. And you're, you're pretty sure some of them are for the illuminating uh, magic in it. But it has another fusion on it that mm. we, might, we might know of uh, out of game. But your characters aren't sure exactly how it works. This Taking a look at this trident win, I am not quite sure all of its special properties. I can tell there are two fusions, but what they do exactly, I am unsure. My best advice is to be careful with the weapon for now until we get it back to the ship and it can be fully examined. Thank you. That was helpful. Uh, <laughs> <Not> so, <laughs> do, uh, do you guys want to spend some time rest up or you want to take this robot head on? How is everybody looking? Do should... I believe we should rest before fighting this robot. If it is as bad as Wynn says, we should be at our best. Uh, yeah, Bumfuzzle is going to sort of impatiently wait by the door, but uh, but he is waiting. So oh. so he's just but but he's sort of like like tapping his fingers on the door and like <laughs> and like like hovering the hand over by the keypad every once in a while and pulling it back, like draw, <laughs> drawing his finger around the the keypad just like <laughs> right. Yeah. Like he's drawing a heart around it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not only is Kaz taking a 10, he's going to, to stab himself with a healing serum. Are you taking a 10 and burning an RP? Yes. Uh, when do you need to take one as well? Um, no, I'm probably going to wait until after. I only have one RP left, mm. so I'm going to hold off. I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay right now because I took that time and a rest before the last battle. So Right, right. Um, anybody else? Is anyone else down any hit points? Negative. Both uh, Nikithi and Idis are good to go. Yeah, right. Bumfuzzle is ready for action. I hate awesome. healing serums. <laughs> what do you roll your Drew? A four. Ah, that's that's pretty average. Pronking four. I mean, it's it's exactly average. But <laughs> do you need to roll another? What are you? What's Kaz doing? What's uh, Kaz think? Kaz is is going to to just meditate, think about his plight in life as he's lucky he has his stamina points back. All righty. <laughs> right. You, you don't really find anything in that previous room uh, where the zombies were. It looks like most everything in here is pretty destroyed. Uh, what, what else would you guys like to do? Are you ready to move forward? Or I guess I can tell you that was a CR3 encounter. The, uh, mm-hmm. Those zombies. So 800 XP, 200 each, which I believe is going to bring total... Two, two, six, seven, five. That sounds goodish. <laughs> yes, I think that's right. <laughs> anyway, uh, robot time, fight time. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, as, as, as soon as Kaz stands back up, Bubfuzzle is like already like on the mock. 
<laughs> Bumfuzzle, yeah. wait. Let us let us prepare. Perhaps we can we can draw this robot into flanking position into this hallway. Ah, uh, sure. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Are you just opening the door, bum puzzle? <laughs> no, yeah, I'm, I'm, I think we're ready to pull it to pull it into flanking position. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I just I, I click that door open and see what's inside. I look at this tiny little this tiny little robot thing that this big old bear is so spooked about. Not tiny. <laughs> it's actually back over here in its starting position. Uh, go ahead and everyone roll that initiative, and we will get into combat. Ugh. Oh gosh! Rolled a six. That's bad. But I mean, I actually rolled a four, but still <laughs> bad. <laughs> so bad. Alrighty, we are in it, and yeah, Bumfuzzle. As soon as you open the door, uh, you see you can peer around this room. Uh, it looks like a pretty large bed, some um, items, some knickknacks on shelves to the east. And yeah, this robot, which looks like it is in kind of like a defensive position on the far side of the bed in the western side of the room, you're at the top of the turn order, Jabur. What does Bump Puzzle do? Is it a is it is it a big robot or is it a little robot like I think it is? I mean, it's like eight foot tall, so it's ah! big. It's, it's a medium a big size. Robot. It's yeah. a big robot. What did I tell you? It's not little at all. We lied to us. <laughs> and then runs back to stand by to Lara. <laughs> okay. So as soon as you open the door, the robot comes back with uh, it's 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 tried and true one liner. <laughs> Return the Lord Commander's trident. Your filthy hands will smudge it like last time. It's gonna move forward over towards the door. I mean, not exactly on the door. And uh, let's see. He's got uh, he's got a few targets. Who's it gonna shoot? Who's it gonna shoot? It's gonna shoot Kaz, of course. Of course. Of course, a Kaz. It's he's a classic Kaz. Maybe looking fairly as lanty themselves. A sixteen on the dice is gonna be a hit with a. It is indeed a, like an azimuth laser rifle integrated into one of its arms. Uh, minimum damage again. Five points of damage. <laughs> uh, let me show you what we are working with. This is what this robot looks like. It's got treads on the bottom now that you all see it uh four arms and maybe not depicted too much here in the art but does have a handlebar mustache <laughs> it's kind of uh, popped on top of its sensor array like head gorobot we found um, the uh, starfinder equivalent of a mr handy yeah <laughs> yes um that is its turn kaz we're back to you well i uh, guess there's not much else to do other than <laughs> look around at Bumfuzzle and shake my head and storm right south into this uh, doorway and hit this thing with an entropic strike. Are you kidding me? Oh, boy. Are you kidding? Okay. <laughs> what? You moved. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Uh, Go ahead, Drew. It's fine. <laughs> Drew, rushing in. You're the in. one he who ran away. <laughs> Sorry. He, he will never be uh, the one to... I understand now. I understand now what you were trying to do, but instead of doing the, the little colorful fun thing, you might want to talk about what you're actually trying to do. <laughs> <sighs> 11 to hit. <laughs> Against uh, EAC. Oh, oh, Drew, that is a miss. Yep. I miss, my friend, and you are yeah. right in this thing's right in range of this creature. Oh, I'm aware. This fun, fun death robot, as yep. you guys have dubbed it. Uh, but it's okay, because Talara is next, and she's obviously going to save your life. Rebecca, what you got? <sighs> <laughs> that sounds like a, a pretty retired <laughs> sigh. <laughs> I didn't want to waste a spell on this, but I'm going to start a summon. Alrighty, that is going to take us to the next turn for your turn. But before that is Nakith. Uh, okay. So Aedas can't really take a shot. Kaz would provide some minor cover bonuses. Mm. Let's. All right. So I think what Aedas wants to do is try to help out uh, as much as possible. But sh but we need to get into the room, further into the room. Right now, the robot is kind of clogging the doorway. Mm -hmm. So. Idis is going to move into the room, move past Kaz, probably provoke some attacks, and <laughs> probably move, move in behind the robot. Ooh, boy. Uh, 
So if you have any attacks you would like to take. Oh, I definitely do. Um, it's going to try and just beat the snot out of your drone with a, a bludgeoning, I believe, uh, slam attack. I'm going to try and slam right into you. Bam. <laughs> That's a d12. <laughs> Let's get the right dice. Oh, I've rolled the same thing on both dice. Uh, three. Uh, three on each dice. Uh, what That's is amazing. what is Isis's uh, KAC? Oh boy, it is fifteen. Um, so it's it misses it like it's from pretty pretty poorly so far. Uh, it brings down one one of its forearms into the tile uh, right where Idis was a moment ago. Kind of cracks it and is like, "Oh no, you made me, you made me uh, mess the room up." Nikithi, uh, what's what's Idis going to do? Does she get an attack? Yeah, yes. Uh, Idis is going to is going to try and uh, try to do a claw attack. Well, actually, first Nikithi wants to identify the robot. Let's try and see. Uh, I want to know maybe its weaknesses or defenses before uh, mm. before attack. That's a ooh. I rolled a seven. That's only going to be a a sixteen. So it is a fairly uncommon looking style of of uh, of robot. It's definitely not something you've seen before in the the, the pact system. This might be like a a, a style specific to the Aslanti. A sixteen engineering. That is not going to be enough to to know much about it. You can maybe infer from other constructs that you've built or fought before. Some of them are weak to electricity. Um, some critical hits, as per many of the robots we fought here on this podcast before. But you're not sure about this one. Okay. Well, not knowing, I think that he would have Idis just go in with her claws. So let's see what she can do. Uh, oh, that's a 17 on the dice, 21 to hit. Whoa, that's a hit. That's max damage as well, six points. Jeez Louise. Okay, guys, calm. So slow it down. We uh, got a, a like another hour this episode. Um, that is a big hit. You see through Idis's eyes where this thing has been stabbed by the the white fire tridents. Now it's got a big claw mark down its backside where your drone is uh, bitten into it. Uh, bottom of the turn order win. Back to you, Miles. All right, so Wynn's going to step in front of the door. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And since he has reach, he would be flanking with Idis, correct? Uh, yes. Awesome. So he is going to... Yeah, so you're, you're right behind Kaz and, and kind of fighting. Yeah, he's, he's going to try to, uh, you know, kind of maneuver his, his trident through... <laughs> Don't say it through Kaz. Don't say around <laughs> Kaz. Kaz. Um, right, like, in particular, you're, you're resting the trident on his shoulder like you're. Yeah, like, kind of like I'm taking a pool <laughs> shot, like a trick shot. Just another callback to Rebecca's kebabs at the barbecue. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm just trying to find the tastiest form of entertainment. Guys, I love kebabs. I don't want to get back to the beginning of the episode, but they're great. Welcome to Star Grill, everybody. We're here to talk about <laughs> grilling yeah. and Star that, that is a eleven, I guess. No, that is a straight-up miss against KAC. Yeah, good try. Oh, oh well. Uh, that is turn one, and we're back to Bumfuzzle. Bumfuzzle reaches into two pockets and oh puts a bunch of, like, sticky goo on that he's created on his hands. And <laughs> okay. And this then, is a PG-13 podcast. <laughs> the perk. And then is going to try to use those to climb over Wynn and then like just sort of scamper all around all the uh, all of the people between me and my target. Is, uh, is Bumfuzzle a slimer? Does he just make slime in his spare time? It's, it's Nickelodeon's <laughs> Gak. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, well, it's like Gak, but uh, Bumfuzzle has this patented method of making it really sticky. It's, you know, you leave it out in the sun for like two weeks and then oh, you go gosh. pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Every one of these just is, is worse than the last. It's just a joy <laughs> and a but pleasure. It, it helps with your rolls. Yep. <laughs> so that's a 27. That'll do it. Engineering check. Okay, so I just oh, clamber over all of these guys. <laughs> what noise was that? It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's the sound of a sticky. I'm like, okay, <laughs> sure. Whatever you say, bro. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! That's the sound of us getting. <laughs> that's the sound of us getting content. ID'd or whatever. 
I don't know what it sounded like to you guys. To me, it just sounded vaguely like a chipmunk. I can't say what it sounded like to me. <laughs> Literally, this entire turn is going into our... <laughs> It's just going to be like, why didn't Bumfuzzle get a turn? It's just going to be that automated voice being like, 17, five points of damage. <laughs> turn turn all missing. Ser- um. Seriously, shut up. I'm going to turn. <laughs> He's going to tinkle himself. I need I need uh, a Bumfuzzle. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can we, um, yeah. Just, okay. Uh, yeah, so uh, Bumfuzzle is going to use the, the sticky adhesive to climb all over uh, Win and Kez, uh, sneaking up real close to the robot, and is just going to slip in here next to the bed, and... Uh, uh, you sly dog. Uh, sly dog, and going to use that survival knife and try to cut at one of those, like, I don't know, like a looks like a like a brake. Like a brake line or something like that? No, not my brakes! I got them! <laughs> How did I stop? Got your brakes! I got you! Oh, I got you! Oh, yes! He did get his brakes! Woo! <laughs> Gross. The longer what is you happening? Call, the better your dice. What, what is happening? <laughs> <laughs> like, cut your is... stupid microphone. <laughs> what is this turn? Uh, oh. Well, I didn't get maximum damage. Well, so, oh. But what did you get, your bird? Because. So I rolled a three. A one, a one, and a three. It's a palindrome. Yeah, but the first, but the, the first, first thing number. you got. Oh, it was a natural twenty. Yeah, yeah sorry. <laughs> sorry. I said it. I said it, and I don't like it. Um, yeah. that is so. That's going to be eight points of damage on that. And uh, is this one of those robots that's uh, weak to criticals? You wish it is not. Oh beans. Okay. Well, um, I'm double still. Double checks the rules. Double checks the rules. Thank goodness. No. Um, <laughs> well, before we continue on, uh, let's give another critical shout out. Thank you to our our Patreon subscribers. Uh, we're we're gonna do Caspers again because they uh, a couple weeks ago said that we can reuse it. Um, they give us permission. Thank you, Casper. That's very generous. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, it's to roll a d6 and ask whoever it is in the turn order how they're doing. And I've rolled a three going down the turn order. Drew, how you doing, buddy? Uh, I've been a little sick, but uh, I'm doing all right now. You were sick last week when we recorded, but you're feeling better. Yeah, I well, for for I uh, keep me, uh, muting my microphone so I can cough, especially when I'm laughing too hard about stuff. I I have no idea what that's like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, I had the black one. Yeah. Um. Excellent. Thank you so much, Jabert. Uh. Boy, another another twenty for the bums. I I do what I can. <laughs> Did you have anything uh, anything else here? Any any witty repartees or? Uh, one-liners. I say, I got your hose. <laughs> oh, you got the brakes. Good. Pull this hose out. And oh man! <laughs> you know, it's just spraying all over you. It's got some <laughs> brake fluid. Oh yeah, and if you don't think I'm using that for my next trick attack, I definitely am. <laughs> uh, well, don't worry because before then, uh, it gets to go, and it's going to <laughs> definitely attack twice. Is going to try a couple of slam attacks, and one of them is definitely going to bum puzzle, and the other one is uh. to obviously it's going to Kaz. <laughs> uh, so let's let's do the first one. This is at a minus four to bum puzzles, slams into you. Oh boy, that I think we'll do it. Uh, that is an eighteen. Is that a hit? That's gonna do it. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, and it's a D six. Bludgeoning, slam damage, max damage, twelve points of bludgeoning. Oof! Yeah, we haven't we haven't been hit by its melee attack yet. <laughs> uh, it's a murder bot. That'll that'll do. Oh uh, no, it's a big robot. Run! Attacking a Kaz again. Negative four to this. Oh, that's that's not gonna do it. I've rolled a six on the dice this time, which means oh, that's only like a twelve or so. Gross. Um. And that is its entire turn. It's just, it's like whirling dervish arms are going in all directions. It's trying to stop Idas from fighting it while aiming its gun and punching you guys. Uh, Kaz, we're back to you. You're right in front of the murder bot flanking with Idas. What do you want to do? Uh, Kaz is actually going to take a five foot step to the east so that I'm flanking with Bumfuzzle <laughs> instead of Idas. Uh, so guarded, guarded step yes. in. Uh, give my give my other crew some chance to, to get in here, and okay. he's going to then entropic strike 
I don't think a seven's gonna do anything with that. Uh, natural toot will not. Natural toot. Sorry, friendo. Sorry, but good news. You've got backup in the form of Talara's uh, summons. Rebecca, too. Yep, it's time for a Tiny Demon, uh, who is probably a totally wasted spell, but we'll see how he does. So he is going to flank with Idis. So we have the minions flanking and the playing characters flanking. It's very <laughs> cute. I really like the symmetry a lot. <laughs> now all I can think of is like the yellow yellow guys in here fighting this robot. <laughs> Uh, all right. All right. And Demon. he is he's going to take a full action and attack twice. Oh, this this demon. This has not turned out well for me in the past. All right. So attack number one is going to be a four. Wait, 13, 13. It is uh, actually a 15 because you're flanking. Right? Oh, because I'm flanking. Yes. 15. A 15 is a mess against KAC. Oh, no. All right. Let's try again. Yeah, well, better than a 12. Ooh. Yeah, that's better. better. That's better. Better as well. Great suit. Yeah. What? What? What's the full number? So you you roll a seventeen on the dice. Uh, uh so it would be twenty with flanking, right? Twenty with flanking's a hit. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So that's eight damage. Ouch. Okay. This thing is still up, but now you see sparks shooting out of its neck and the aforementioned uh, fluid, just like uh, like hydraulic fluid, just squirting out of every joint. Uh, <laughs> not looking great. Um. um and I, I get a turn too. Can I? Can I shoot my pistol? Uh, you can. You are firing through full cover of your your teammates here, but go right. Yeah, I'll here. probably miss, but uh, it's worth a shot. Nice Haha, <laughs> worth a shot. Yeah, you got that. Oh, that is not going to do it. That is a... <laughs> Natural two. Natural two. It's not, Natural toot. not worth the ammo, actually. You should have just saved that. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, okay. Nikithi, back to you, Tyler. Oh, I peed my pants. Um, yeah, that'll happen. Yeah. Okay, well, Ida has the support of, like, of a tiny demon and win, so it would be crazy for her not to double attack. So hopefully we can just take down the murder robot right here, right now. First attack. attack. First attack at an effective minus two. Oh Ooh, that's a 19 to hit. That's that's a hit. Max damage, six points. Boy, oh boy. It's still up, but it's it's not doing no! great. No, no come on. One more, one more, one more. Manadis. Give it to me. Give it to me. No, I had max damage again. Ten on the Only. dice. Ten on the dice. No, no, no. no. Uh, miss against KAC. Uh, when we're back to you and you are in position. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it doesn't have a full sized uh, teammate in front of him now. So the tiny demon is not going to really get in his way too much. <laughs> so he's going to use his new trident to try to, you know, poke another hole in this robot. Single attack. I'm a double attack. Oh, you foolish fool. You've oh. fallen get, into my trap. Get in green. No! 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 Falling right into my trap. Oh, oh Miles. Miles. What is happening? How many times have we been here, my friend? <laughs> um, would you like to use our online Crittermander critical fail deck or the Starfinder official fail deck? Uh... Our finder official. Alrighty, and this is a kinetic weapon that you are wielding with the pike. This doesn't sound good. <laughs> this <is> the title. <laughs> um, <laughs> the most critical of fumbles is the title. Uh, reroll the attack against your nearest ally. If you hit, that ally takes weapon damage and one randomly determined grenade on their person. If any detonates in their square, that's awful but I don't think anyone's holding. No. Right. right. Um, so right now, I mean, I think it's tiny demon, unfortunately closest mean, to you. <laughs> you mean, fortunately, that's the best possible. Yeah. That, 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 that's, that's true. That is the best it's possible thing to happen. I meant yeah. for me, unfortunately for me. Oh, oh <laughs> yes. Yes. I hate you guys. <laughs> uh, go ahead and re-roll that, that first attack. Well, you, you stunk against the tiny <laughs> demon as well. <laughs> We're on the dice, so that failure meant nothing. Just roll like, it. Like, go ahead and roll your second attack. Oh, God, I forgot I had another one. <laughs> Anything yeah. but a this one. This happen again. Anything. No! <laughs> God. No. Okay. Well, it's not okay. a one. On the 19. It's not a not, one. Oh, it's yeah. not a one. It's not a one. It's a, it's a three. 
You but, you have rolled a one, a four, and a three on three attacks. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, uh, yeah. That that was a wasted uh, of every ten sign. Maybe Win should try ranged whip. <laughs> uh, maybe Win should just go the prong home. I guess. Uh, <laughs> turn three, bum puzzle. We're back to you, Jib Jab. I told you I was going to use this fluid for something. <laughs> 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 Good boys. Uh, yeah, That's something I, that uh, you tell the cops after they've arrested you. Yeah, <laughs> right. Um, uh, yeah, so I, uh, I'm gonna do something a little unconventional with this one. Oh, really? I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to uh, 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 drink it. Light the uh, light it on fire. So I just sort of like, so I just sort of crank up the the power on my laser pistol, and I shoot the and I shoot the liquid, so it uh, bursts into flames and. And burst into flame. <laughs> 19 on the dice. Yep, that's a 35 on that check. But and, and then and so uh, uh, when it when it sort of like its sensors get overloaded and it starts like looking around, and then I use my knife and I sever its power cable. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah, 21 to hit. That is a hit. And I'm gonna deal. Four points of uh, uh, power cord damage. <laughs> oh, danger zone because it is still up. It oh. is nearly dead though. Now it is like doing a full spinning on its like spinal axis <laughs> and just trying to like hit everyone like a like a training dummy just like coming at you guys. Um, one of these is definitely going to tiny demon because it did the most damage. And let's see who's getting the second attack. Oh, bum fuzzle. Ooh, another oh, no. <laughs> bum. So first against tiny demon. Oh, oh no. Natural 20. Oh, yeah. Against the tiny demon. Yes. Look at Patrick. Wow, I, I want to kill it. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Uh, oh, I've rolled very low on 2d6, but that is 16 points of damage against tiny demon. Yeah, I, I, I think yeah. it's dead. <laughs> yeah, no flanking buddy if I just <laughs> later on this turn. What? Wind. Except he's still got flanking with wind, so that's true. <laughs> um, Jeez, and let's me, I'm sorry. let's go ahead and give another critical shout out <laughs> to uh, our third of this episode uh, <laughs> to our, our good friend Spec, uh, Spec from the oh. old Discord, and they hey, say thanks, Spec. Uh, 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 much love to the crew of the Infallible Ill. Uh, I'll read uh, her online names. Chupuracata, Clueless, Phoenix Habit, R. Rainer, Venix Moondrew, Wookie Gunner, and Elise. Thank you, Infallible Ill Crew. And thank you, everyone that supports us on Patreon. That is only its first attack, guys. Another one's coming to Bum Puzzle. Let's do this. Ooh, an 11 on the dice. Uh, that is a... 17. The 17 hits. Oh, yes. 17 hits. Mm, yeah, let's get a d6 rolling. Rolling your way. Minimum damage. Seven points of bludgeoning. Seven. Seven, seven minimum? Seven minimum. It's plus six. Jeez, um, nice. It is. It, it looks like it's going to explode under its own weight, though. Uh, Drew, we're back to you. What do you want to do? Oh, we're flanking. You know what that means. Mm. Double attack. Oh, okay. In Tropic Strike number one, that yeah. is a 21 to hit. Uh, that is a hit. How much damage? Four damage. Oh, boy. You knocked my block off. Ah! It, had, it had four hits point left. Yes. <laughs> nice. Uh, it Its head explodes and goes and lands on the shelves on the eastern side of this room, and it's still talking to you. It's like, no, master, master. must be angry. Mm, Daisy. Daisy. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we're out of combat again. Uh, like second time in, in 10 minutes. And yeah, that was another CR3 fight, which I think uh, is taking us to... We'll need to do, recalculate. I, I thought it was going to be 2975, but by your guys' calculation, 2875 XP? Uh, did we add in XP for the Electrovores last week? I want to say... Maybe uh, <laughs> we I... we'll figure it out in in post. But you guys are ooh, you're inching closer, closer and closer to level three already. Yeah, what do you want to do? We're at a we're at a combat. Um, I guess I kind of want to look look around this room because I mean I saw the trident, I took it. 
and then giant robot happened. I didn't get really take in much because when Wynn first came in here, he no, he was very poorly on perception. The, the robot did mention a Lord Commander. I wonder if this is the Lord Commander's quarters and what we can it's, discover here. It is a very large chamber, kind of looks like a luxury um, crew cabin or apartment. Uh, but for one person, you just see this one large bed, very finely made. Um, it's got like a bum fuzzle butt print in it. <laughs> but uh, besides that, uh, everything looks very well kept. There's this uh, shelves and smooth metallic desk where you see everything neatly arranged and kind of parallel to one another. And um, yeah, um, that, that is what you see in this chamber. Looking so it up. looks like someone's been here recently. Well, it, you know, it does. And you also see what looks like it, it's been up uh, kept very well. Um, it, like everything is very clean in here. There is like a little bit of damage from where the ship crashed, but uh, everything else seems to be spotless. Is someone living here? Uh, I would assume the butler robot is the one that has been maintaining these quarters. The mm. butler robot we just decimated with our attacks. The murder butler robot. Right, right, a murder b butler robot. That would have been useful. You think it's too late to figure out who this master was? Well, on the, the, the ship's map that you guys have, um, this room is called uh, Pareps Chamber. P-A-R-E-P-T apostrophe S Chamber. So um, you're not sure if that was like a, a title or a, a name of some sort. Are there any computer uh, terminals in this room? There, there are not. Um, you see maybe like a dock besides the bed where some kind of electronic device might have plugged in at one point, but there's nothing there. Kaz, you, Kaz, you may be able to ask the ship AI more about this particular passenger. I believe it mentioned at the entryway that this was a Sawdat, whose room this was. Mm, yes, I, apologies, I don't remember much because we got into the fight and you know how memory goes. Uh, can I access the... Do I have to go back to the front of the ship to ask about this this person, or is that AI everywhere? No, there doesn't seem to be any computer consoles in, in this room, so are you leaving or are you going back towards the front? Perhaps we should go and, and ask. Is there anything else we should investigate before we go and ask the AI about this Sardat? Bumfuzzle's going to investigate this bed real quick and uh, take a five-minute break, if that's okay with everybody else. A five minute break or ten? sorry, a ten minute break. I want half my SP back. <laughs> <laughs> so burn it, burn in an RP to to regain. Uh, does anybody else want to burn an RP while you guys rest up? Um, I want to, but I'm not going to because we're getting down into the low lows of the. Everyone so far has used at least two RP, uh, except for Talara. Uh, Nikita, Nikita used three. Yeah, that's why I said at least two. <laughs> uh, Talara oh, said right. three, full, full RP. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe you should go into the first into the next room. <laughs> yeah, so you guys can can take a rest. Uh, let me know if you want to burn another RP. Uh, when it looked like you were looking at the desk on the other side here. Yeah, um, I just want to see if maybe there's some some documents or some sort of information about the the lord commander or you know what might be in store for us because we we are we're still in this ship and we we still have to think that somebody's here cuz we're still looking for Sedona. Yeah. Well, the ship crashed hundreds of years ago, so it's probably unlikely that uh whoever lived here is still alive, but um you... Oh, I thought I thought someone had like had like taken up camp in here. Well, if if they had, you don't really see much sign of it besides these things on the desk as as i said it was immaculate guys stepped in the bed freshly made uh you have devised i think the truth which is the robot has been keeping it up for hundreds and hundreds of years and might also not really know what time it is right um but yeah as you look at the desk there are dozens of little trinkets maybe um ornamental kind of metallic items souvenirs uh, of one sort or another maybe relics and you see them made of very fine materials. We're talking gold, methyl, um, all kinds of precious stones. And they look to be of ancient Aslanti kind of construction design. And you, you're certain that this would be a small fortune uh, to collectors of these kinds of things. Uh, well, then, yoink! Uh, we're talking. Can I, can I detect magic on any of this stuff? You can, but you can't because there isn't. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you do, you don't. 
<laughs> if that makes <laughs> sense. Uh, but in total, these guys, if you can find someone to buy them, are worth 4,500 credits. Hmm. Ooh, that's Ooh, pretty good. Baby. But right now, they are worth zero. They're basically metal and uh, stone. <laughs> but a lot of... A lot of money uh, out there in the world. You were getting paid like what? Uh, just uh, some chump change, a few thousand credits to transport materials across the uh, the galaxy on your ship. This is a this is a big haul. Yeah, this is a big old payout. Nice. Um. Yeah. So, what do you guys want to do next? Uh, should we double back and and go to the AI to ask about the Sardat that could be living in this or would have been living in these quarters? That we are on a time clock the longer we delay the longer they have to take sedona and the rune drive off planet then let us move forward if we are going to find anything else out about this sardat or par deck or however the name was pronounced we will find pareps pareps hmm. we will find out more going forward agreed yes yeah i'm definitely taking some of these trinkets though yeah i mean they're you know for you, just like little pocket-sized things. There's like a uh, a crystal skull and uh... oh, so Dan Aykroyd's been here uh, and a oh, golden yeah. goblet and a lost ark. <laughs> the ark of the covenant up in here. You probably got a few hundred. And, and, a... Uh, but leave that worthless-looking cup. <laughs> it's three glowing stones. We go in through the entire quadrilogy here. <laughs> um, yeah. So moving into the next. Uh, next door, the the southern side of uh, yeah. Prep's chambers, you see another long hallway, and it looks like it is destroyed to your west, which, you know, looking at the map, is back towards the engine room, but opens up into a what looks like a larger chamber here to the east. Um, yeah, throw yourself in marching order in, in this hallway, and as you're you're walking into this chamber, um, the northern side of the room is just utterly destroyed. It looks like the bulkheads were shorn off. Some of them bent backwards and, and filled in with rock and dirt over the years. And you, th- you think this might have been a much larger room. You see a mess of debris and kind of cargo crates in, in the corner here. But above you, a fairly clean metallic catwalk with a, a ladder bolted underneath it still still uh, is attached to the wall. The ceiling rises above you about 20 feet. And there's another passage leading to the northeast. And on the south side of this room, a destroyed airlock with a computer terminal standing next to it. So the terminal seems operational. And as you walk up and cast to it, uh, our good friend, uh, the the Royal Ventures AI, Eliok, pops up again through this, this holographic display and says, It is the intruders! Oh yes, you just destroyed the master's adjutant robot! <laughs> Lesser beings such as yourselves are not allowed. I am the new adjutant. That robot disrespected me and it deserved what it got. The adjutant is the robot. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I am the I am the new Sardat. The adjutant disrespected me oh. and deserved what it got. <laughs> oh, you're Sardat now, or are you the adjutant? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think we know who can help sort this matter out. And it screams out uh, over maybe like a, a few loudspeakers still operational in this room and says, Marines, arrest these degenerates and make them pay for their insolence. And above you on the, the catwalk, you hear some some boots moving towards you. And it looks like a few Aeon Guard cadets popping out of hiding places, bringing their pistols to bear. Oh, you know we need another initiative roll, everybody. Drat. Oh, Runk. Probably that's bad. Right till I can't go no more. <laughs> <laughs> God, even Wynn has a higher initiative than me this this round. God. Ooh, boy. Feels good. Feels good living the life. When does that happen? <laughs> never. Now. No, I said never. Nah. Oh, I guess it does happen right now. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, let's see. Oh, you have, you are standing a chance, Miles, to be at the top of the total initiative turn. I don't, I don't know what to do with myself. Let's see how I roll, though. I rolled a six. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I can't believe it. Um, so <laughs> we are in combat. These guys are, uh, they look like they have uh, some kind of automatic pistol, semi-automatic pistol aiming down at you that are, are moved in this destroyed cargo bay. When you're first, you can see these guys. The catwalk is about 10 feet up, but you, I mean, you can reach them from just the ground level. <laughs> you're so big. So they're, 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 they're sporting pistols. 
they are, and uh, they uh, some of them look like they have tack lashes on their their belts. Okay, uh, it seems a very similar outfit that uh, or, or kit you, you've seen on on a few of the cadets, the ones that were threatening to kill Jellic. So, Wynn's gonna run up to the center of the catwalk in between these two fellas. And uh, I'm going to attack the uh, guard to the far east near the wall. Okay, yeah, this guy's would look west. Be, yeah, one of the, the hardest to kind of get to. Yeah, and he's he's just been a little, a little jabby jab with the the trident here. Uh, that is a 14 to hit. Uh, that is a hit against KAC. And roll a D8 uh, for six points of damage. Wow, ouch. Okay, pretty good on the D8. Um, Bumfuzzle, we are on to you. Oh, boy. Um, let's see. Uh, I pull out a small box, and I uh, and I drop it on the floor, and I stomp on it. And when I do, uh, two automated drills go down into the floor, and then a little, like, a little arm comes out. And uh, as I'm running up here to get on the scaffolding next to the guy that was sort of directly above me on the western side... <laughs> um, uh, it uh, it like punches out and it punches the scaffolding so that it rattles back and forth and throws the guy off balance. Okay, that was <laughs> that was like a, a short novella <laughs> to yeah. get to this point, but it's worth. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, the longer you talk, a twenty the on. Better I do. Uh, okay. Gosh. Oh yeah. So I so while this guy is like weebling and wobbling. No, I, uh, I try to make him fall down with my survival knife. <laughs> uh, that's a 17 versus the KAC. Hit. All right. And, and seven points of damage. Whoa. Okay. Another pretty. That's too much. Guys. Seven points <laughs> against this dude. Uh, yeah, you gut him <laughs> as he's uh, nearly shaken loose. Um, boy, oh boy. I didn't roll well for these guys. Talara, we're on to you next. All right, I think I'll just use my laser pistol. You've got a, a pretty good shot on this one from where you are. It, it's fairly unobstructed. Yeah, I'll, I'll shoot at that, that one. The one that Bum Puzzle was, was, yeah. Yeah, was attacking. All right, I'm, sh- I think I'll do a double attack, because wow. why not? Okay, wow. I like it. I mean, chances are I'll miss anyway, so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather miss twice than once. <laughs> that's going to be a 12 to hit. EAC against EAC. That's a hit. Yeah, really for one damage. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> All right, let's calm down. Back. And that is going to be a five. Not going to do it. Oh, that's going to be a miss. But yeah, scoring another hit here. Uh, next internal order is Nikithi. Nikithi. Uh, Nikithi is suddenly rem- <laughs> he suddenly thinks to himself, "I probably should have looked at those." Uh, wounds that Kaz and Wynn are supporting that is obviously damaging their base abilities. <laughs> uh, he make he he makes a note on a data pad and sets an alarm to do that after this battle. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, uh, he will he's going to have Itis move into the room and up the. Ca- oh boy, is the one soldier on the most on the most northern end of the catwalk? blocking could she get by him or is he just fully blocking uh no it is it's almost less than five foot this catwalk so uh that one up there if you want to go to the one that went attacked on the the western catwalk it will not uh i mean you'd have to try and um uh go against you know through its legs which would uh, okay. be a very difficult move through an occupied gotcha. square well, Nikithi's not going to have Itis do that then, because that's probably where Kaz is going to go. So instead, uh, your her tendrils on her neck are just going to uh, move around, move about, and that that spout of flame is going to come out and shoot the uh, Aslanti soldier that is to the uh, westernmost uh, area of the catwalk. Right, the one uh, that uh, went attacked. Yes. All right, from where you're firing from, it will get a, a slight degree of cover. I don't think I can play Zytus anywhere better than that, so it's yeah. just going to have to be how it is. Yes, give me my my sweet, sweet plus two bonuses. <laughs> Gulch Gun, go! Oh, roll the five. That's Gulch Gun, an- no. Yeah. Five on the dice is a miss. Uh, do you want to move? Does Nikithi want to move? Or you're, you're still in the hallway. You're feeling pretty 
confident there. Uh, Nikithi's going to try and do some herring fire against the one uh, Bumfuss is going up against. Okay, I think you uh, unfortunately might need to move forward to be able to see uh, that. Oh, okay. If I need to move, then uh, Nikithi will move about 10 feet forward in front of uh, behind Idis, um, okay. kind of up against the destroyed airlock. Excellent. Right where Hold there. all three of them can shoot at you if I want. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not going to, but maybe. All right, that is your full turn, bringing us next to Drew Kaz. Uh, the the uh, the AI is kind of like mocking you behind your back, it's doing like bunny ears and blowing raspberries. Um, AI, you will give us full access to your systems if we defeat these. I have a name, and it's Eliok. I will give you access to nothing except this airlock for you to leave by means, which jerk. AIs earn their names. They are not just given them. And he runs up to on top of this thing. The, uh, it runs up on top of the the uh, rack uh, to this uh, Islanti soldier in the very northern quadrant. And he is going to hit this fool with an entropic strike. That is a 13 to hit versus EAC. Against EAC, that is a hit. Five damage. Ooh, Which boy. is apparently the only damage I can do this entire match. Uh, ouch, 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 ouch. <laughs> you did, the, you did the, what, four before? Um, let's see here. That, <laughs> I've rolled very low on initiative. It is finally their turn. And they're going to try and <sighs> strike back against you guys. Uh, they, all three have now been moved basically within melee range um, between when um, Kaz and Bumfuzzle so they're going to spend their move action to pull out those tack lashes. And they're going to make an attack against each one of you three. Try and knock you down, basically. Oh, no. Um, so the first one is going to win. Ooh, 16 on the dice is going to be a hit. Tack lash and max damage. Nine points of slashy non-lethal. Miles, how's Wynn doing? He's fine. Really? <laughs> It points to you have. Please die. He's <laughs> wearing heavy armor. You gotta well, worry about that. I mean, I didn't really get hurt in the last um, round except once, and I had, mm. had a rest before there, so I've got my S- I had my S- SP back. What 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 are are you not into hit points at all? I mean, I have taken the hit point damage previously. I, yeah, previously, yes. Okay, but not into hit points now. Correct. Oh, I'll do better next time. Uh, this one's going to attack Kaz. With the tech bag. 17 on the dice. I'm rolling Ooh. rocks right now. Another D4 coming at you. Another max damage. Ah. Nine points. Non-lethal Ooh. slashing. The tables have turned. <laughs> Kaz wipes the blood from his mouth, looks up at the Islanti and says, <laughs> Churning has been good, but we will see. Yeah, no, these tech lashes, like, one is, is wrapped around the, the white fire trident is kind of uh, uh, cutting into Wynn's arm. This one's like has pulled a big gash up against your your chest, like cutting open your your armor a little bit, and there's like blood trickling down. Let's see what happens to Bumfuzzle. D22 attack. Uh, 12 on the dice is also going to be a hit. Mm -hmm. Oh, can I I three for it with damage? No, not max damage. Uh, That is seven points of non-lethal. Ouch. And that is their full turn, because they had to pull those weapons out. They're now holding the tack lash and the pistols. Turn two, Wynn. Miles, back to you at the top. All right. Wynn is going to try to return the favor and attack uh, the same as Lanty that he had attacked before. Mm-hmm. Just just once or double or nothing? Um, Give me a get him, bro. What? Give me a get him on my dude so I can double attack. Oh, oh, good. Good call. Yes. Well, I'm going to cast Get Him on my guy. <laughs> that'll, that'll help. <laughs> no, we're good. We're good. I mean, except, I mean, it's the one I'm attacking. Makes I sense. Know, I, I'm good. But, I'm good. Um, and then he's going to use his trident. Uh, so that is okay. uh, 20 <laughs> points of damage, minus oh. two plus one, so 19 points of damage. Uh, no, that is an attack roll, not damage. <laughs> For I mean, not damage, 20, 20 to attack. Two, two yeah. attack. Yeah, sorry. Don't you dare tell me that's it. <laughs> uh, I saw the dice land on a five and then get hit by one of the D6 and oh, um, yes! seven eight points of damage. Oh my goodness. Max damage as well. Uh, how no. does it feel, Patrick? Tell me how it feels. It feels good. <laughs> now get it, boy. 
doesn't feel good. This one is bloodied as you pierce its side with the trident. Like two of the spear tips of this trident just go right through this guy's abdomen. If you had rolled a, a natural 20, maybe all three, but we'll see. I know. I, I, I got ahead of myself. I got way too excited. But yeah, you've almost taken this I'm not out. rolling multiple critical fails in a row this episode. I'm excited. <laughs> you still uh, have I'm one, pl- though. I know, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta walk before I uh, will run, you know? Drop before I run. <laughs> Jabert, next in the turn order, uh, give us a bum puzzle attack. Uh, yeah, bum puzzle's gonna pull out a, a little uh, model rocket solid booster that's glued onto a magnet, and he's gonna toss it at the end of the uh, the tack clash and uh, try to stick it on there and have it go you know, zoom, zoom, zoom. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, I talked about it enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy 29 great uh, yes. and then so while this guy is sort of like you know whipping this thing over his head uh, I'm gonna go uh, when they go high you go low that's what Barack Obama said <laughs> uh, 18 on the attack that's a hit oh yeah <laughs> gotta, get me, gotta get me another d4 here uh, with 4 points of damage all right, you see exactly where Talaris scored this guy, and you go right for that weak spot. Yeah, uh, with the the trick attack. Um, yeah, he's he's hurting too. Both of these guys, the one in the east, one in the west, looks like they are not doing well. Uh, bleeding out of multiple stabs, shots. Uh, we are back to Talara, Rebecca. What you got? Yeah, yeah. Seeing Bumfuzzle, uh, I, I feel like we're partnering up on this guy. I'm just Teamwork. gonna take a shot at, with my pistol at, at the same guy. Oh boy. Um, Single shot? Um, I think I'll do another double. <laughs> oh, I love it. Ooh, yeah. Get it. Again, the worst that can happen is I just miss twice. Get it. I would miss anyway. Ooh. All right, that's gonna be a uh, 15. 15's a hit against EAC. Awesome. So that's two. Two damage. Wow. Oh, Ooh, even nice. better. So that definitely hits. That's Super. another two damage. Sure. Super. Yeah. 19 sure. on the dice. Uh, so, yeah, four in total. Oh, boy. <laughs> it is a race to see which one of these guys is going to drop first. Or am I going to drop one of you off this balcony? The time will tell. Okay. That is a Talara full attack. Nikithi, you are next. Oh, uh, Nikithi is going to have Idis take a shot at the soldier that has get him on it. Okay, the, the one Win is like, get this one up here, stab. <laughs> yeah, Win is thoroughly hand- handling this soldier, but, you know, Idis wants to help. Now, does Idis uh, want to move to try and get a better shot or double attack? What, you, what does she want? I think it's just going to be a single concentrated shot uh, because I, there's really no better angle to really try and shoot this guy from that I can, that I can tell, so... We're just gonna go for the one one shot. Okay. That's what we got. Uh, and that's going to be oh, 21. That is a hit. And five points of damage. Five points is not enough to kill it. Oh no. no. Hopefully I hopefully so I, I set it up. Uh so N- Nikithi's going to uh, <laughs> what you got, Tyler? Are, are you feeling the bloodlust? Or do you want to kill? <laughs> no, no. I'm trying to figure out if I should who to give the possible harrying fire bonus to. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna give it to the one. I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on this one that wins attacking. Uh, so Nikithi is gonna <laughs> not to be out engineered by Bumfuzzle. He's gonna set up a little tripod with a little tripod, a little tripod, and put the gun on top of it because he doesn't like violence. And so he's just gonna push the button and <laughs> let the let the thing shoot itself uh, to try and provide some herring fire. Alrighty. So let's see here. Need a fifteen. No, I rolled a natural three, so that's a seven. Not quite there. <laughs> no. Uh, that's okay. it. That is fine. Now that brings us to Kaz. Drew, drop your weapons, face me like a true Aslanti. <laughs> Double attack <laughs> and drop a strike. I'll, I'll be, uh, I'll, I'll get it right on that. <laughs> drop my weapon, that does a ton of damage. Uh, Double attack? Double attack. So that is a 13 to hit versus EAC. 13 against EAC is a hit for four damage. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay. Second attack. That second attack going. Even better, but oh, still for four damage. Okay, but that's still a good amount. You've uh, 
you punch this guy three times, just wham, 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 and Tropic striking him. Armor is being bludgeoned and melted off. Uh, he's he's having difficulty holding up his tack lash. Stand down, you fool. <laughs> Not really in the Aslantes lexicon surrender <laughs> retreat, those kind of words. Uh, it is their turn, and they don't have to move because you guys were nice enough to, to hang out right here. So I think it's double a double attack uh, against Yeah, double attack against both a win, a Kaz, and a bum fuzzle. With right. the attack lashes. Two attacks coming to win right now. Oof. Maybe yeah. No? Oh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, a, a super hit on the first one. 19, I can guarantee you that is going to be a hit. Um, Miles. Yes. A, the 17 versus uh, KAC a hit. Yes. That is two hits, my friend. Oof. Of non-lethal. So let me roll these. D4. Ooh, a lot of damage. That is 17 points of non-lethal uh, lashing damage. Am I in HP damage? Oh, yeah. Yet? <laughs> oh, yeah. I better be. Oh, yeah. Victim bears hard to take down. <laughs> uh, but when is still up? Barely. All right. I get it. Barely. Hilarious. Um, let's go to Kaz next. Two tack lash strikes coming at you. What, what's my KAC? I'm trying to sneak out. Uh, KAC 17. Attack versus ya. Yeah. I've rolled. Ooh, uh, I have rolled one hit. That's uh, thirteen on the dice is going to be a hit. Um, the I've rolled a ten. That's a miss. One is seven points of non-lethal damage. Um, once again, the tackle is just kind of wrapping around one of your arms like mid punch and uh, scraping through the armor. Oh boy, bum fuzzle two coming at you. One definite miss and one definite hit, I believe, with a 21. Mm -hmm. Four minimum damage. Uh, Six points of non-lethal slashing. Okay. Still up, everybody? Uh, Still up. I hate this game. (laughs) (laughs) One turn to be able to double team you guys. but (laughs) Is that how you have been trained? Ugh, that's turn two. Turn three, when we're back to you, Miles. This one on top of you looks like it is about ready to Wilhelm scream off the top of you. Yeah, I'm I'm keeping my get him on him. Uh, Okay, so you can can redo that if you want. And I think I'm going to try to double hit. Well, if you do want a double hit, you can't do get them as well. Your get them will last. Oh, right, right, right. All right, so uh, so I'll keep my get them and then just do a regular hit. All right. So, so double attack? No. Uh, oh. I'm going to keep the get them and just do a single attack. Okay. So Cat c- calling out get them again and one attack. Go ahead and roll. Uh, oh, oh, you should have double attacked. That would have been, uh, I'm sure, a natural 20 on your second no, one. I, I'm sure it would not have. <laughs> <laughs> Five up and dice. <laughs> Miss! Uh, bum fuzzle, we're on to you. Uh, yeah, so okay, I'm gonna go over to the uh, bum fuzzle trick attack challenge. Oh boy, and I'm calling Ooh. one down from Clue. Uh, hey, yeah, Clue. Clue, thanks for this one. Oh. Uh, uh, bum fuzzle is going to uh, reach down and push a button on his, on his belt buckle, and it's just going to open up this like uh, n- non dimensional uh, sort of hole. And out comes a uh, like a spring loaded glove. <laughs> I'm just gonna punch this guy right in the <laughs> right in the midsection with it. And then uh, when he when he doubles over, I'm gonna stick a knife in his chest and then try to push him off the edge. <laughs> I can't say that I saw that coming. So <laughs> I said, damn, I'm surprised. Let's see what the dice say. <laughs> it's like, it's like a big glove too. Like where, where is that? Where is he keeping that thing? It's the size of a goblin head. Uh, that's a 25. Gosh, yeah. Yes. That was- <laughs> yeah clue. clue. We did it, buddy. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah. And so, uh, here comes that, n- here comes that knife. And, oh no. Oh, and that's a roll to the it wanted to be a 12, but it rolled to the toot. I know. Toot. The toot. Um, oh, yeah. Starting it on us. Even with flat-footed, that is a miss. Talara, we're on to you, Rebecca. You're seeing Bum Fuzzle maybe having a little bit of trouble with this one that he is fighting himself. Yeah, I, I think she'd say, she'd yell across the room to him, hang in there, Bum Fuzzle. I'm and, gonna try. And I'm going to, <laughs> I'm gonna do another double attack. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, you are. Worked for me so far. <laughs> She's gone mad. <laughs> mad with genius. Uh, that's going to be a 14 <laughs> to EAC. Uh, that's a hit. Yes. For one damage. <laughs> okay. Are you still the none one? damage. Sorry. Sorry. And that's even better for another one damage. <laughs> <laughs> two hits, two damage. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Zap, zap. Your your gun is, you know, like the maybe junior model Azimuth laser pistol. <laughs> <laughs> that often, but it's a, uh, uh, Scooty Puff Junior of Azimuth <laughs> laser pistol. Uh, he's still up. Oh my gosh! Oh, no. <laughs> to death though. Nikithi, we're on to you, Tyler. Uh, uh, Nikithi's tripod Azimuth laser turret is going to try to give Herring fire. <laughs> it can't be stopped now. It chose this path. So the herring fire roll is going to be just uh, 17. So it applies. That'll do. And and so then Nikiti looks down at Idis and and says, you got this, Idis. Idis is going to aim for the legs because she wants to hear that Wilhelm scream. Of of whom? Which which one? Uh, The the Aslanti soldier that still has a get him. It does not. What do you mean it does not? Oh, no, it yes. does. Yeah. I put it on there. That's why one of you can't oh. take it off. Well, I'm confused because you said, like, multiple things. I time. clarified. Yeah, like, I, I took the time to clarify. I know, I know. Let's calm it down. Okay. Tyler against the one that bum puzzle. Yep. Oh, no. And Wynn is fighting. Wynn yeah. is. Yep. And I, Idis is bolstered by Talara's wonderful shooting. And so not wanting to be outdone, she's going to take two shots herself. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, snap. So, um, uh, first shot is a 19. No! <laughs> Dang it. All right. So Idis' first attack goes off. And I rolled a nine, but with get him and the herring fire, that's going to add up. Oh, but then I also am taking a full attack. So... I mean, it's going to be an 11. But is that your first attack? I'm, I'm seeing two here. You rolled double, right? That is the first attack is the 11. Oh, well, that's, that's a, it's a big miss. Ah, uh, we still have a second attack, though. So hopefully this one's better. Come on, dice. Yes, noticeably better. That's a 13 <laughs> against EAC. Uh, well, that is a hit. But uh, what, what is this? What is this hit? Uh, I rolled very poorly on the damage. Only two points of damage. Uh, no, I'm sorry. It, you, you've rolled a 14, but that is... Oh, a 13 against DAC. With the... Okay, but that is with the Herring Fire, with the negative four, correct? Well, would Herring, would Herring Fire only apply to the first attack and the full attack? I think... I think that's I think that's how because I think it's the next attack. So I think technically the harrying fire would only apply to the first attack, and oh, the no. second attack would not get it, which means that would be a eleven. Gosh darn, two misses. Eleven. Uh, you, well, you just killed me. Eleven, including get them. Yes. Oh no. Oh gosh. We. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Win. I'm so sorry, Win. I'm sorry. I chose to play with you. You needed oh. every bit of that. Uh, yeah. That gosh. Is- that rolled is a, a miss. N- rolled a nine. I, uh, dang it. I didn't want Okay, it. yeah, I thought I thought that was going to do it, but that won't do it. I'm glad we took so long on that turn. Kaz, Drew, we're on to you. Kaz laughing at the Islanti that he is facing. Ha! <laughs> Double attack. Two entropic strikes. Oh. Ooh, boy. Strike the first. That's a 17. Oh, Ooh, my goodness. 16. I'm sorry, 16. 16 is a hit. Ouch. Max damage, six damage. <laughs> He's still up. Oh my oh, gosh! Crazy. Come on, Drew. That's closer here. Strike the second, even higher. Nice. Oh, what? Max team. Another this. max damage. <laughs> oh I love that, Drew. Hex, hex. You have landed five hits. Every <laughs> punch, uh, every entropic strike has battered this poor cadet into death. And this is the first Wilhelm scream because this guy goes falling off of the catwalk falling to <laughs> oh there it is <laughs> you hear a sickening crack uh first one dead uh, to which Kaz goes out let that be a lesson stand down if you value your lives this one over here uh in front of when shouts you know in its lanty uh for the glory of the empire and it is their turn this one sees you murder his friends and you are 10 feet across on the catwalk. He's going to double attack, but he's going to send one of these your way. One to a big old bear. A big win. So, uh, first attack is coming to Kaz. 
Oh, this means uh, they hit me. Basically a zero <laughs> on the dice because I've rolled a four. So <laughs> it's a miss. And maybe that, that doesn't mean I'll <laughs> uh, hit a win. Let's do another attack. Yes! yes! It very yes! much was huge. That was huge. Oh, that was huge. One on the dice. I'm not going to do it. Uh, yeah, that's pretty big. Uh, maybe, maybe all the herring fire and gulch gunshots <laughs> blasting around this one's face is a little distracting. Who thought? All right, I'm sorry, Bumfuzzle. This one is going to try and take you out. No. Yeah. With the first attack going against you here. 18 on the uh, dice. Boo. For max oh. damage. Nine points of non-lethal slash. Bumfuzzle's still up. Bum puzzle still up. Oh, goodness. Uh, hang in there, buddy. Second attack coming against you. Oh, boy. 11 on the dice. Does a 15 hit against KAC? Oh, thank God. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's off by one. It's off by one. We goblin kill. Uh, okay. That's their entire turn. There's only two of them left. Back to the top. Turn four. Win. All right, uh, keeping get him on this boy. Oh boy, this guy is like so near dead. He's like bleeding. <laughs> down um, from the I'm hoping against hope. I'm gonna use my trident. I just want. I just want to jam him. I just want to jam him real hard. Jab, give him the, stab. Give him the strawberry. That's a um, fifteen. Oh, with your minus two for your your poison, yeah. Uh, so thirteen. As I miss. Oh, so close. Though. So close, guys. This guy's he's the worst. Support. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> he is <laughs> I am vulnerable. Um, but Bumfuzzle, back to you. This one, all right. This one's all looking. He's <laughs> got shot by Talara like five times. So. <laughs> I know. He's um, not doing great. Like, that is true. Haven't you hit like a bunch, Rebecca? Yeah. yeah surprisingly, a, a lot. I yeah. don't know how it happened. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So I'm going to... Oh, what do I want to do to this guy? I'm going to reach out to shake his hand and say, and say, Oh, buddy, I'm sorry. Put her there. I'm surprised. It's a shock buzzer. Oh, no. <laughs> Very heck. Oh, no. Oh, that was the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Two on the engineering. Uh, that, that was... That's a fail. Yeah, it does not want to. He does not want to shake. He <laughs> just doesn't shake my hand. Believe it or not, it doesn't work. Uh, instead, he he rears back to uh, attack last you again. Okay. Uh, what you got for an attack though? Oh no, another six. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is. Yeah, that's only an eleven. Oh, a miss Cack. against Cack. Well, bye guys. <laughs> it's been real. <laughs> Talara, you've got to save Bumfuzzle. He is being beaten with this tacklash within an inch of his consciousness. Of it. Right. Yeah, consciousness. yeah, Talara is a bit horrified um, at the at the visage and in front of her with Bumfuzzle. I mean, she sees this as Lanty like raising the tacklash above his head, about to bring it down on her little goblin buddy. She's got to save him, so she levels her laser pistol and takes two shots. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh these are huge shots alright I think that hits that's a 14 uh, it does and you <laughs> blast a hole right through his chest yes! Yes! <laughs> oh! <laughs> falls to the ground in front of Bumfuzzle the tack lash uh, falling limply to his side awesome had two hit um, points left <laughs> oh, gosh. and I run over to my goblin friend and stab him with the healing serum <sighs> Ah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> so you're running up the, the catwalk. Uh, sure. It, it yeah, I guess take, I have to, right? It will take another turn to, uh, yeah, to, to do the stab action. But before that happens, Nikithi, Tyler, we're back to you. Is it redemption time? I've got bad news. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the gulch gun's out of ammo. Well, that's pretty awful news, <laughs> but... <laughs> oh, my gosh. Nikithi has a gun, right? <laughs> oh... <laughs> Ah, oh, yeah. He's got a gun. Nikith, he's, he's got no choice. He sees <laughs> what is he gonna do? If, t- if Talara can do it, you can do it. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Yeah, Talara's uh, like a crack shot this episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just looks back at at uh, Nikithi and she 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 gives the best sad face. 
the the adorable the adorable Akata eyes because she can't she can't shoot anymore. And the catwalk is taken up by dead bodies, and she doesn't want to get in the way of Kaz. So Idis is just gonna stand down, and uh, Nikithi is gonna try and try and contribute. <laughs> oh boy, take a shot, single shot. A hush falls over the crowd. Oh, super hit! Yes! yes! Smash damage! <laughs> Yeah, just piercing through the, the, the minimal cover this guy has. That shot goes right through the back of his head. Yes! <laughs> this is like through an eyeball. It's a uh, near perfect fit. He is dead O arrival. This is, this is just like at the end of Die Hard when Reginald Bell Johnson shoots the guy. <laughs> it's just like, it's like, you're like, oh, who shot that guy? And it cuts to Reginald Bell Johnson, and you're like, oh, he shot the guy. <laughs> a kill? A kill for Nikithi? So, you, you, so, like, Nikithi drops the gun, and he's shaking, and he looks over at Talar, and he says, I. I, I, I just was trying to give covering fire. I shot him. <laughs> he <laughs> did good, a kid. Uh, He goes over to, he, you kind of see him, like, retch a little bit, and he, he goes over to where, uh, is it Eloch? Eliok. Eliok. He goes over to Eliok's terminal, and he throws up on it. <laughs> oh, gross. Oh, but <laughs> well done. You've passed my test to gain entrance to the ship. This was all planned. You're my new masters. There's no need to take me offline or alter my programming. Uh, 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 Kaz, can I please, please hack this fool and shut him up? Eliak, prepare to have your programming altered. We are your new masters. You will do whatever we say. Wait, hold on. Let's not get rash here. Um, what if I offered you something in return for letting me go? Like what? Oh, why, I have a a nice brand new case of to be continued. Oh, boo. (laughs) For everyone. I have over 80 episodes of that. I don't need <laughs> I, it. I have until next episode to figure out how he's going to bargain. <laughs> uh, whirlwind of combat and roller coaster of emotions this episode. No kidding. Uh, and you guys survived. I don't, I, don't uh, you, I don't understand. I have one hit point left. Yeah. I'm sitting <laughs> oh, on man. two. I'm sitting on yeah. two. As promised, I'm going to stab Bumfuzzle before we yeah. end the episode. Well, 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 we'll talk about healing up as well oh, next. Oh, nice. Healing That's a serum. max serum. So well, you're welcome. Well, or thank you very much. We'll, we'll talk about all the healing you guys might need to do next. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> um, that was a CR4 encounter. 1,200 XP, 300 each, Ooh. which is, yeah, so close to level three. I've got on my count 3,275. Oh, jeez. Whoa. Are there wow. any, are there any, any, ant, right? any ants we can step on? <laughs> yeah, and, right? Or some boars we can kill? <laughs> <laughs> if you had made friends with more Madelon's Landing, you would have had more XP, but nope. Uh, <laughs> what's his name? Uh, uh, the Arquin boy thinks you're kind of weird. So. Well, this! <laughs> well, this <laughs> well, is not a fan. Um, yeah, yeah, that is going to do it for us this week. We've got to <laughs> get to editing this episode and get to sleep as we play late into the night here. Thank you guys for playing. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for letting me um, uh, live out my teenage dreams of, of rolling crits on all my friends. Uh <laughs> Uh, until next time, uh, signing off. Cosmic Crit. You guys have a great night. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night.